Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. League One team of the season is absolutely insane, and it's especially crazy because of how cheap these brand new League One Tots cards are on the market. And that was actually expected, right? We talked about that in yesterday's video, and it did end up coming true. But what we did not expect is to see EA Sports forget to release one of the most important parts, one of the best parts of team of the season that we have come to consistently expect these last couple of weeks we'll talk about what that is and how unfortunate it is that it is not in the game this week or at least right now and we had to take a look at everything that happened yesterday from SBCs to objectives to the market there was so much going on even in the store there was a ton going on we're going to break it all down in today's video and look forward into today on Saturday what type of content could be coming we've got a big announcement for potentially one of the biggest SBCs of the entire year today so we're going to take a look at that at the end of the video if you're excited for today's content and everything that's going on in FIFA right now drop a thumbs up on the video and of course subscribe if you are new now let's do an overview of yesterday's content there is a lot to cover starting with Kim Pembe flashback this might look familiar right in last night's video we took a look at some of those leaked pictures and they actually were correct they came true even the exact dynamic images and everything so that was kind of cool to see uh that those leaks not not cool I guess but just interesting to see how that kind of happened yesterday. Kim Pembe's SBC, guys, if you need a center back, this is your guy. This is an end game center back as an SBC. Absolutely incredible card. Really, really good price as well. Some of the rewards inside of here are kind of cool too. You get the PSG fourth kit as like one of the rewards inside of here at the beginning. Uh, it's only an 81 rated squ uh, squad. It's not that hard to complete. You get some decent packs back in return and you are getting one heck of a card. One of the most overpowered guys in FIFA this year, last year. 500,000 coins this SBC, especially if you're doing any upgrade packs. If you're opening the 84 times 30 at level 30, if you're claiming that fodder pack there, very, very easy to craft and uh, every bit of worth 500,000 coins. Even with how cheap this team is on the market, I would have to imagine that Kimpembe would probably be at least 500,000 coins, maybe if not a little bit more because Marquinhos is all the way down here somehow so cheap at 500,000 coins himself. So an insane SBC from EA Sports. Like so many people are getting this SBC done. You can see with the 86 upvote percentage and we'll talk about it when we're getting into the market stuff a little bit later. Center backs are in the mud, which is what was expected for this Kimpembe SBC. Now that was kind of the only SBC we had yesterday. We did have a flash SBC as well, and that impacted fodder a lot. A lot of fodder was up very high. 85s, I was buying them for like 11,000 coins. 86s were up to like 12k. 84s were like 7,000 coins. 83s were like two and a half or 3k. So big spikes on fodder there. It's back down again. We'll talk about fodder a little bit later in the video, but let's go over to objectives, right? And this is where we are kind of disappointed and honestly just like stunned, right? We have come to expect a TOTS Cup every single week. And guys, we might still be getting a TOTS Cup, but the way this objective looks, we're requiring you to play with a full squad of League One players, which I do believe also includes the bench. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think it includes the bench. Uh, you get, it's really cool, right? You get the red version of Openda and Mbemba is as a part of this, you get the, uh, fantasy foot heroes pop in and you get a nice set of player picks as well. But man, it is going to be tough to grind out a weekend league with a full squad of these players and the Openda that you get at the very end, three star weak foot. He does have four star skills, maxed out pace, really, really good stats, but is it really worth it? Right at, in the end, you think about it first, personally, I was saying, I don't think it is, especially for somebody who is usually getting 11 and maybe on the close to 14 wins in a weekend league. But especially for the whole entire user base on FIFA, this is an L for most of the community because we look forward to playing the TOTS Cup each and every week to trying out these cards from the specific league. And at the very end, we get a TOTS pack from the specific league, like a League One TOTS pack is what we were all looking forward to, right? It just gave us the TOTS Cup a really nice grind during the week and even on the weekend if you got your games done early or you wanted to start early it just gave you kind of a nice grind to try out different players 
in that cup mode five games a day you could chip away at it every single day and everybody could get involved right that's the disappointment with this only being inside of the foot champs finals like not everybody plays foot champions in this game either they don't have the time for it or they're not maybe skilled enough to get into the weekend league so that's where i think this objective is a big l in that aspect maybe there is going to be a tots cup that's coming maybe they wanted to release this first and then maybe they know that people are not playing most people are not playing a tots cup until the week so they're going to delay that a couple Couple days that's our hope right now but the fact that we don't have a cup is very very unfortunate and disappointing to a lot of people although these rewards in here if you're going to go through this with this challenge it is fun as well it's just going to be a bit tough unless you've really got a league one focused team i have like very little league one cards in my club so i'm just going to go ahead and play a normal weekend league and forego some of these extra packs um because you know what i'm missing out on some player picks the openda and some fodder basically with mbemba and openda so that's the way that i see it now we also got a objective hamari treore not a bad card at all there is some xp involved in here as well and of course speaking of xp level 30 is now attainable i'm kind of behind right i gotta catch up i'm 20,000 xp behind but people are claiming the level 30 rooney 84 times 30 and the one of five guys a couple quick words about this one of five player pick it is not as overpowered as the level 20 player pick at all now some people have gotten really good pulls like renato sanchez like Llorente from la liga but if i were you sbcs are just there's just a lot of sbcs out there's more sbcs of coming i think the 84 times 30 just has a lot more value this time around yes the player pick is fun and yes we had fun with the player pick at level 20 but this one really seems to be like a big gamble and the weight here is not as overpowered as the earlier one was. So I think I'm going to take the smart move here, take it the fodder, and just enable myself to continue crafting, whether it's Kempembe, whether it's more SBCs that come out later on this week. That is my kind of, um, that's the way I'm going to go with it there. You take, do whatever you want, honestly. If you want to just have fun and, and YOLO it and just gamble, then go for it. But um, I just think that that player pick is a big, big risk at this stage right now on this game so let's take a look at some prices of the team and man this team is juiced right it looks like a very juiced team just like la liga and bundesliga were but the difference here is these guys are so cheap and they are so supplied on the market and there's a couple of reasons why that is happening i'll take a look at that in today's video of course but this is uh, by far in my opinion my favorite card out of this team jonathan david with the biggest w of a dynamic image right we saw it with the leagues and it came true what a dynamic he got a four star skill move boost and people say he is really really cracked in game there's a lot of hype around this card also we can play right side left side striker and center forward w position changes there for his card this team in general just kind of wows you right of course you've got the top tier guys you got the Messi, you got the mbappe the renato sanchez the neymar those guys tough to pack right exactly what you talk about very expensive very tough to pack but then the rest of the team besides lacazette i mean you've got a lot of really affordable cards in here ben Yedder, i can't believe he's this cheap this ben Yedder last year was two million coins plus day one 800k right now and i'm not saying he's going to go up a lot i don't think this team is really undervalued I'm, I'm saying it's cheap but it's just starting out a lot cheaper because we had some crazy supply yesterday that just pushed these cards onto the market a ton and it seems like on the low tier guys like fofana todibo cabela andre samba um they're very very packable and i think they're going to get really annoying from upgrade packs later on this week once we get there um but that's what made this team a w though right they have really good stats they're very linkable there's great cards um in the sbcs like Kempembe. and if you pack one or two of these all you have to do like let's say you pack medina all you have to do is go buy the goalkeeper for 30k and fofana for 100,000 coins and boom you spend 145 150k and you've got yourself a nice trio link in your squad um all from lens or maybe let's say you pack klaus so you go and get like toribo as a center back and then maybe you also get samba for the french links as well it's just so easy to link three four or five of these guys together and since most of the team is less than 500k it is amazing but there's also that cream of the crop top tier in here that gives you a chase right you're everybody's chasing after the mbappe the messi the neymar i mean the moments out of this team too they don't show in that squad yet on flipping they need to fix that up but the renato the neymar and the sissoko i cannot believe that musa sissoko is eighty thousand coins day one and guys as i look at these cards and as we're going to talk about a little bit later in the video 
these guys are not done dropping yet now why did they start off so cheap what was different about yesterday than a normal promo friday well remember that pack code that said a league one player pick i'm sure some of you guys already opened this i opened all five of them i spent 125 thousand coins just a full send it they dropped that one of three league one player pick in the store yesterday it is there and uh i think a ton of people did that because twenty five thousand coins for a tradable chance at a player pick that gives you the chance of packing a blue. I didn't get a blue in either of those or all five of those that I opened. So it was 125K down the drain. But at the same time, what EA is so smart in doing with that is they give people a chance at you know hitting the jackpot, hitting the lottery, you could say, and packing a TOTS card that they could sell for more coins and make coins off of that. But in most cases, like with me, I spent 125,000 coins and got like gold payette. And uh, I think I got Donnarumma from one of them, right? But a lot of coins were taken off of the market with that yesterday. And I think this team being as cheap as it is with all of those coins being drained in SBCs from this past week, SBCs like Kempembe from yesterday, and in that store player pick, a lot of people opening that with coins, that is going to take coins off this market and it's going to devalue the market as a whole going further. So that's just something we have to be very careful about. The market's really not crashing a ton right now, only in a couple of certain areas is it really crashing. Uh, one of those being center backs, right? Center backs, because of the Kempembe, are down horrendous. And some of these guys, if you want to pick them up for your team, if you sold because you were worried about Kempembe, I mean, like, the fact that Virgil van Dijk is down from 1.6 million coins to, like, 1.3 mil, like, this is crazy cheap. I know there's more and better center backs that are dropped, like, every single week. Uh, maybe not better. You can still argue that van Dijk is one of the best, if not the best, in the game. That is a crazy, crazy price to where he was. Rafael Varane, team of the season, down bad. Delict, team of the season. Remember, like, Kunde, Militao, those guys? Yeah, they're big time down in value. And uh, they could drop further. They could drop further, these guys, because, again, the hype is all around Kempembe, and some people may be transitioning into him with their teams today. So watch out for center backs still having some drops today on Saturday. And if you want to pick one up for your team, if it's a really meta card, if it's really rare, might be a decent idea. Don't expect to make a ton of coins off of buying that today, but... You might be getting it at a lower price than obviously where it was yesterday before the SBC came out. Now, with this League One TOTS team, since the supply is so heavy, I'm being very careful with these cards. I have bought a couple cards for flips. I bought a couple Jonathan Davids at 700K. He's actually down 10K from where I bought him. I bought another one at 685. I also picked up a Lacazette because I saw Lacazette at 2.1 million coins yesterday. And these guys are supplied a lot, but also they're in such high demand. Here's what I think is going to happen. I think today on Saturday, you might see a slight rise into the early part of the day as we get towards content, just as we normally see. Probably the same fluctuation. They start to drop a little bit. And maybe uh, there's a couple bounce backs. If there's a lot of panic selling, we saw this last week. Um, I forget on who it was. Some of the La Liga cards last week, I think it was Valverde. Valverde went from like 1.2 mil or something like that all the way down to like 880. But then he went up to a million coins after the Saturday content was a little underwhelming. If that's the same case today, you might see that happen with a couple of the League One cards. Just keep an eye out for the panic selling today. But we're going to attempt a couple of early flips this morning just to see if Lacazette, Jonathan, David, some of these low-tier guys like Fofana, you know, they're probably going to go up a little bit. But the thing I would tell you is I would take the quick flip cash. I don't want to be holding on to these guys because I think by the time we get to tomorrow's video when we're looking at these prices again, they're probably going to be lower, which is basically what happens every weekend. But especially on the lower tier with the supply being so heavy, I just think those cards are going to drop off maybe a little bit extra. So I'd be very careful owning those cards right now. Now, for the rest of the market, what happened to, to League One specials yesterday? Well, some League One specials are down a lot. I'm looking at a guy like Atal here who is 63, 61,000 coins. I sold my Atals at 95,000 coins. Renato Sanchez wants to watch with all the cheap midfielders that have been released into this team, right? Fofana is 100,000 coins. This card is actually up 20K right now. He was down to 110 Okay, he went from 215 all the way down to 110 and is now back up a little bit. But a lot of your League One specials dropped because the lower tier of this team is so cheap. And at the same time, 
there's no cup mode where people have to go out and buy those League One players. So that was kind of a, I guess, double whammy for those out-of-pack specials from League One uh, that's making their prices drop a lot. So just be very careful there at the moment if you are investing or trading in any of those. If you sold into the hype, you're feeling good. And that's always the play. Selling into the hype is even when some prices go up even further, you look back now and you say, man, I'm glad I sold in the hype, especially in a time like this where a lot of these cards went down. I think like Alexis Sanchez, Hakimi had a couple cards, like the team of the year on Hakimi went up and Alexis Sanchez, fantasy foot and team of the season went up. But a lot of those cheaper cards ended up going down because the team is so cheap. So again, like we mentioned, coins are being drained. I'm being very careful with some of these cards from out of packs, um, other team of these seasons. Pedri yesterday was an amazing trade. I bought Pedri at 1.55 in a very kind of quick hour of panic. Look at him now, one, back to 1.62. You can look at my transfer list. I sold Pedri at 1.75 or 1.74. So you can see prices have dropped down a lot from where they were. Lacazette, it was 2.1, right? And I just told you that I just picked up a Lacazette for, uh, what did I pay? 1.66. So a pretty big drop off there. I'm hoping for some more fluctuations today. The Jonathan Davids right here bought at 704 and uh, 706 and 685. So I'm kind of all over the place there. Hopefully he goes back up. He was 900K. He's back down a little bit now. So these cards are in very high demand, which makes me interested and in obviously wanting to buy them. But at the same time, it's probably going to be quick flips only because I didn't, again, like I said, I think they'll fall off later into the day. Now let's talk more about today on Saturday. Is it a good time with the content upcoming? Is it a good time to buy some fodder? Fodder prices, actually, I'm a little surprised, have gotten a little lower than I expected to see them at, at least on a Saturday, in, like Friday night into Saturday. 85s are all the way back down at 8.5K, which is kind of where we were buying them during the week as kind of their lowest point. 84s are under 4,000 coins. 83s are at 1.6. And all of this is happening, by the way, with the Kempembe SBC that is out. Even your 88s are down a little bit. This is kind of looking good for a fodder club stock. If you want to go all in, you can. Again, if today on Saturday is like a slow day like it was last week on Saturday, these fodder prices are probably going to drop a bit more. It's just kind of a gamble. Maybe do a club stock today, and if they go down more tomorrow, then you go more all in. That's kind of the thing we've been doing. But uh, today on Saturday, it's really unknown about what sort of SBC we could be getting that could make this stuff go up. I would say just do a quick club stock because these guys prices are pretty low again and then maybe we wait until saturday night into sunday to really go hard and then maybe that's just one extra day in there if the prices go up a little bit they go up a little bit but it's not like we have another icon pack coming today the icon pack refreshed yesterday i completely forgot to talk about that um in yesterday's video it did refresh so we would imagine a new icon upgrade would be coming out or i don't know what else some other sort of icon hero upgrade would be coming out on sunday could be today who knows but most of the time now these are coming on Sundays. Now, what are we else getting today on Saturday? We're getting that challenge SBC, right? That's kind of a staple of Saturdays. Um, inside of here, the Tot Swaps Challenge 7. Um, watching, of course, just in case it's a tradable pack reward. If it's an eight League One players pack tradable, that could bring some supply to, again, the League One Tots card and make their prices go down. Um, so watch out for that. A lot more people are going to be getting the level 30 player pick today with that objective and XP being awarded. We'll be opening some of those on stream if you got 84 times 30s or if you want to risk it for the player pick. We'll be doing some of those on stream today. That should be a fun time. And then player SBC, right? We almost always get a player SBC on Saturdays. Not always is it like an insane player, which is why I think we might have a couple SBCs today, but this one seems pretty likely to me. Tots Moments Mav Didi. Now, this was leaked as an objective slash SBC from the beginning. Looks like it's now, of course, going to be an SBC since we already had the objective for Treore. That might be a decent card. Have to see how big the juice is if they give him skill with weak foot upgrades. So that might be something to look out for today. Also today, that showdown. We've talked about it in the streams. Uh, this showdown for the Europa League final, which is happening uh, on the 3rd of Jan June, it's upcoming, and this showdown might be coming soon ahead of it. So usually the EA give us a couple of days ahead of time to go ahead and plan this. So just kind of keep an eye out for maybe some of your Serie A center mids on the market if you were investing in those, as a lot of people are starting to invest in Serie A specials. Um, just not kind of something to think about. If we get Wijnaldum, he might hurt some of those prices there. Montiel, if you're running a League 1 team, or sorry, a La Liga team, might be some good links there. That's potential SBC for today. Uh, more store packs today are definitely 
in the books as well we could definitely have more of these league one specific store packs the uh, 500k pack could absolutely drop as well we're still awaiting you know we haven't seen it yet we have not seen the massive um icon pack what was it the icon cheer or elite icon cheer pack or whatever we added the 500k one and the 400k last week but we never had like that massive massive pack so usually they add some other sort of pack into the store today on a saturday to spice things up i would definitely expect to see something there and um you know i will say that player pick we'll talk about this a bit more in tomorrow's video the player pick that is in here that league one specific player pick that really brought all the supply to the market today that player pick expires on sunday could that actually mean it's going to get refreshed and bring a whole nother load of supply to league one tots on sunday i don't know Keep an eye out for that. We'll be watching that very closely in tomorrow's videos. We head into Sunday content because that could shake some things up on the market a lot even more. Now, the SBC I talked about at the beginning of the video, you guys may remember this voting that took place early last week about a Premier League EA Sports Premier League Player of the Season, right? And we all voted on this. It was on their Twitter. This is the official website on the Premier League website. It says that the public votes will be combined and the winner will be revealed on saturday the 27th of may last time i checked hmm, that's today so if we are going to get that insane erling holland and i want to find that picture because it is worth looking up and finding because this is the type of thing that is being kind of talked about for today this right this is the car design for that player of the season or whatever it's called award winner car design it's not i'm not saying we could get the sbc today i mean it's potential that we could there's no true leaks about it yet which makes me feel like we're not getting it but this award is going to be awarded today it's going to be revealed who the winner is it's probably going to be holland but once you see that official announcement, that could mean that there would be an SBC coming soon. And that could be more market impact and more craziness going on in this game today on Saturday or in the upcoming days if that were to take place. So that's just something I wanted to point out to you because that is being revealed today. We'll be keeping a close eye to see if that changes anything on this game today. So I'm going to go ahead, try to take some of these quick flips. Hopefully we can make some coins overnight uh, or early into today, overnight for me, early into today, as you guys are watching these videos. Lacazette, keep going up, my guy. Oh, 166 sitting there. Yeah, wow. See, some of these guys, they got so much supply, it's a little scary trying to flip with them. I'm going to make it sure it's a quick flip. I'm not going to hold on to these guys for very long, but hopefully we do see a lot of demand as people think these cards are juiced. I think they're juiced, and hopefully we see these cards rise up a bit today on Saturday before they fall down further in price so if you have any questions drop them down below in the comments but it was a wild day yesterday on this game a lot of coins made a lot of coins lost in some areas too i think that's going to drag the market down a bit in the coming days we'll watch out for it we'll keep tabs on it of course as we always do if you enjoyed the video today drop a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions of course and subscribe if you know see you guys in the stream today link in the description as always it's been the info account see you guys there peace